Okay, so check this guy out. This is Big Al. He is our one of our biggest Asian water monitors. Um, so a lot of times he actually hangs out at a church. It's called Saddleback Church. It's in our area. I um, mean, he lives there, but he's here on retreat for a little bit. Um, he is in the same family. And this is Rusty's um, brother. They're from the same clutch of eggs, which is super awesome and super fun. If you were to put them next to each other, you would totally be able to see that they're brothers. <laughs> Um, just because they've got the same body structure, their face looks a lot the same. Um, he's got a little bit more pattering on him, um, which some would say that means he's a little bit more beautiful. Um, but what's interesting is they, even though they have the same body structure, it's still like a little bit different. So, um, Big Al here got the, the height, the length with him. So he's like super, super big. Let's see if we can... He might even be, I wonder if he's taller than I am. Cause you're huge dude, with your tail, let's see. Maybe, yeah, a little bit, I don't know. Kind of about the same, I don't know. I think about the same height, but Rusty is like wide. That boy is thick. So, but he doesn't have quite the same amount of length. Um, they are both about um, 12 years old or so. Uh, like I was saying, they were hatched here, which is really cool. We've got a couple different generations of it, which is awesome. Um, but this is our oldest generation of these guys. Come here, kid. Come here, come here. Um, they are big guys. Let me see if I'm going to hold them for you guys to see. Move them back a little bit. But this guy, he has got some major weight on him. I'd probably say he's about 100 pounds or so. Um, you can tell he's got good big old claws for... Not climbing, these guys do not climb, um, but they, when they're this big body, they don't climb. If they're a little bit smaller body, they totally do. Um, but what he'll do with those claws a lot of times, no dude, he wants to go back in his enclosure. You wanna go back in? Um, a lot of times what they'll do is they'll have the food kind of in their, in their mouth and they'll kind of just rip it apart to help it move, to help it um, get a little bit smaller so it'll go down. Let me see, so I do have some chicken. Let me grab it, see if he'll eat. Not gonna lie, I did feed him before this video, so I'm not, I'm not expecting him to eat, but a big guy like this doesn't always turn down food. Maybe, maybe, he's full. No, he's saying, mm -mm. he's watching his figure a little bit. Let me tell you though, Rusty, he's a little wider which is not bad, nothing wrong with that. He would definitely not have turned that down. <laughs> um, but we are super excited. I um, love that we got to not only breed him here, but hatch him here and then help like be him, have him be raised. And then also now they're used for educational experiences, um, different types of interactions, all kinds of different stuff. So it's really cool that this guy, like we've literally from the beginning to Hopefully plenty of more years of his life, we'll get to interact with him. Um, but we love this guy, he's really awesome. Um, so if you wanna keep on seeing super fun, big animals that we've raised up, um, keep on watching.